Hello all and welcome to the Peacocks Podcast, episode 5. At this time I'm joined by Jamie Price, Ollie Chamberlain and Jamie Shaw. How are we all? All good, thank you. Yeah, we've got the heating on this time, which is something I'm not used to as well, so you're all crowded by the radiator. Uh, yeah, we're recording this on the Saturday the 4th of January, just before the home game against Gosport. Uh, before the game gets underway, any thoughts on the match at all? Personally, I think we need to bounce back from the two defeats we just recently had. So I think it's a big game in that respect, mm-hmm. so... Yeah, I think we need to get put in a good performance and show the fans like yeah. we need to get back onto it. Shorty, anything? Anything else? Oh, we got to say. Um, just yeah, like Ollie said, you just need to get back on winning ways, mm-hmm. back to playing well, I guess. But and um, just to, just to sort of kick things off, uh, we're gonna. It, it's quite a pretentious question, but what is the story? of you three basically like you know where were you born where'd you grow up all this sort of stuff uh we'll start with you Ollie. i'm a local lad born in Taunton. um football wise I'm, i haven't really done much really i was at exeter for a couple of seasons but then just stayed locally then played for my um village team bishop lydiard then yeah i went to bridgewater college where i played for an under 18s team playing for the Taunton under 18s as well mm-hmm. and from there i just gone on to progress into the men's football yeah. And uh, and what's your day job? You know, what what what, what do you do, I'm sir? A self employed PC. Okay, yeah, yeah, a bit like Ryan and yeah, and yeah, yeah, okay, and uh, yeah, Jamie will will go with you. Well, Jamie Short actually, both Jamie. So um, yeah, what what is the quote unquote story of Shorty? Started off at Heathfield actually, and then went to went to Exeter, stayed there till I was sixteen. Got nothing. <laughs> we'll all tell about that. Then I kind of was playing, coming training when my dad was here and Jamie was actually playing. I used to look up to Jamie. Yeah. He, he was 18, I was 14, quite I think. Yeah, quite He's quite a lot older than me. That's yeah. Right, yeah. So I used to come training, just join in and uh, just watch the lads. And I've stayed here until I was 22 and then went to Tiverton Street. Mm-hmm. I'm working my way down now and then go, went back to Taunton. And I've been there since. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Pricey will yeah, go. Same question yeah. to you. Oh, we're born a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> long time ago, I was born. So uh, you played for a couple of local teams when I was younger. I went big up the pro teams like Shorty had too. But um, played for Taunton, then Bridgewater, then Biddeford, then back <laughs> to Taunton, <laughs> then back to Bridgewater, then to Western. <laughs> Then back to Tour. Team of the Decade at West. Yeah, Team of the Decade at West. Land Bridge, well, yeah, but two out of three and bad. Now the kid who keeps getting fired from all his other jobs yeah. and he just keeps, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to find a home sort of thing, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, and then always seem to end up back to Tour and then spell at Tiverton, where I seem to do all right there. Um, and back to Tour. We captaincy of Tiverton and nearly getting relegated. Yeah, well. Captain of Tiverton and getting promoted was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, back at Taunton, <laughs> yeah. where my heart is. <laughs> that just kind of leads me on to another question. Um, what, it, like, in terms of, you know, your footballing careers, um, what is the best, what's, like, the defining moment for you to think, like, okay, that's what I'll remember the most? I think for me, probably the FA Cup run from Taunton. A couple yeah. of seasons ago, we went, went to Barrow. Yeah, that was just quality. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget that. Shorty? Uh, probably winning the playoffs with... Tivum. Who? <laughs> Who? Who's that? Well, better than your days in the Western League. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Pricey? Um, my favourite. Play with Matt Willis. Yeah, yeah playing with Matt Willis. Come on, Matt, let's get you over here. He said he is the best centre half ever lived, but not got in any team over there. He's not a bit. So that's a shambles. Matt, whilst we've got you here, what's, what's the <laughs> defining moment in your career? My career. Probably playing in front of 20,000 at Hull City. That's probably yeah. a defining yeah. career. Yeah. Maybe 26 at Sheffield Wednesday. Well, scored in the FA Cup, actually. First proper round. Oh, of course, cool, yeah, you did. On the uh, yeah. left of play. Either yeah. Jamie, Jamie's not played in the FA Cup first round. Yeah. Jamie did. On there. Yeah. That's got to be your defining moment, yeah, isn't it? Mine. By far, Definitely the FA Cup run. Yeah. And um, do you guys find it difficult to balance full time work, a family, football, and all of those, say, golf, yeah. you know, other responsibilities? Uh, uh, less. less. <laughs> 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 Probably best about 70, that though. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got two little girls as well, so uh, they take a lot of my time. And then, I'm hooked on golf at the moment. Mm. <laughs> so I'm consistently beating short of that at the moment. <laughs> 
Um, why golf? Why why is that I the? Really know, really. I think as a you know just pretty good at it compared to shorty really. So <laughs> no, I just nice. took over my life at the moment. Golf has. Pick a sport that you're good at, and then stick. Yeah. 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 Sure. You need to pick a sport. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite yeah. nice at all of them. And, uh, and you guys are currently fifth in the table. Uh, that's, well, that's when I last checked anyway. Uh, obviously, we'd love you to win the league. That would be obviously the main thing. Uh, but what are your hopes for the rest of the season? Without winning the league, obviously. Um, a playoffs place then. But uh, I think <laughs> we're still in a good chance. We've mm-hmm. got, we're in a good position. But I think we need to get a little run going now. And hopefully a few results go our way. Mm-hmm. And then we can capitalise on them. And then, yeah, see how far we can go. Yeah, you guys at all? Well, we've got good enough players to mm. uh, go on a good run, that's for sure. We've got a good squad. Mm. Just need to uh, get a bit of rubber to green and then, as Jenga said, pull a run. But I think short and just like to get on the pitch. Yeah, I would just, <laughs> I would just like the player shoes. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. um, and obviously, we, we've mentioned those those two uh, previous games, you know, Western, Tiverton. Uh, the... <sighs> I think, obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I was filming and all that sort of stuff, but we were unlucky, I think, in, in both of those games. We'd, we'd maybe deserve to get goals that, uh, that we didn't in the end. And like you say, we just didn't, didn't get the run yeah. of the green. Um, but, you know, what, uh, is that a fair representation of what you guys think as well? Or I think the second half against Tivy, we, we completely dominated. I think mm. it's easy to see. Yeah. And we definitely deserve something from the game. Weston was a bit different, in my opinion. Yeah. Like... Could have gone either way. Mm-hmm. They got the big decisions, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, they were a good team, well structured. Probably but right. that's football inside. We can't. Yeah, I just think the TV yeah, game was the one. Sure, we speak up the game. Just help and change. Yeah, okay. I, I think they were the better team, Western. Yeah, team definitely. definitely. Uh, they had a game plan better than ours on the day. From mm-hmm. watching from the side, it looks like they're a better team. From the where? From the side. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Me, Dre, <laughs> we're falling. You're all part of the management team. Yeah, yeah. I was actually talking to, to Kev like just after the um, the Western game, and it was just like they are they're lower down in the league, but they play you know the, well, sort of a good level of football. You know, they should be a little bit higher. Good. Definitely. Good, real good side. I think. I, think if you I don't up. think. I don't think we've been really played to our best yet. I think we uh, enough. Play, not all of us have well, had good games at the mm. same time. Mm. Um, and we're, we're still in the playoffs at the moment. So hopefully, second part of the season we all get push ourselves a little bit. Yeah. And uh, just any inspirations when it comes to football, you know, the game. Uh, what sort of players? Maybe you know anything? Anything um, that that you sort of look up to and are inspired by? I used to look up to uh, Jamie Price. Uh, <laughs> You've mentioned this, yeah, yeah. Younger than me, I used yeah. to look up. Back in the day, I wouldn't be like him. He's got a good back, name. Back in the day, yeah. But, uh, uh, he's probably my favourite. I like to, to think because. Uh, I was a bit of a Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> quick and, yeah, quick and, yeah, yeah, quick and bit, good taps. And mm. yeah. but, uh, <laughs> I used to like Steven Gerrard when I was younger. He's my favourite. Mm-hmm. Ollie? Yeah, I'll go. Because I'm a United fan, someone like Scolzi. Yeah. Yeah, midfielder, do everything. Both pale, both really Yeah, nice. both very white. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are obviously Ollie Sports Man. You, any Premier League teams that you guys follow? Support anyone, never have. Fair enough. Uh, never really have. I'm a Chelsea fan, so <laughs> just leave now. Um, obviously, we talked about golf being, you know, uh, Jamie needs to get a little bit better at it. But uh, short, uh, any, yeah, yeah, exactly. I must, I must stress that. Uh, what, uh, what, are, what are your uh, other hobbies outside outside football? Ooh, I don't really. Um... Jamie likes better three six five. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from that. <laughs> Uh, I, I play quite a few of the like snooker. I play a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, off chance I play a bit of golf. Snooker. <laughs> yeah. This is news to everyone. Yeah, could well be. Never mentioned that before. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, don't, I try and get involved in quite a few things, really. Yeah. Yeah. So quite open. Golf was the main thing, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and obviously, well, uh, I'm I'm not sure if you guys have listened to the show before. We do have a feature called Fan Questions. Uh, this one we've got in from Peter, so thank you, Peter, for this one. Uh, the question is, and this is referring to the TV game, uh, how did we lose that? We dominated the second half, and we've mentioned this before. Uh, yeah, again, what did what did you guys think of it? Sometimes you can be there all day, like mm. not just 45 minutes. But you can you can be there for 24 hours and still not get a goal. Uh, I think anyone that watched it knew that we we battered them mm. second half, and it just didn't didn't fall for us. And a lot of the times it does like a sucker punch at the end will happen like that if you yeah. don't take chances. So. I think it really, it, 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 it may have, um, you know, upset us a little bit more considering we went 2 0 up within what, first six yeah. minutes. So it's sort of yeah. down from yeah, that. Yeah, good spell in the second half, yeah. to be fair. They, well, they deserve to get at least you know, a goal or two back. But mm. 
Second half, it was a one way, one way traffic. Two really. Was that? What was that? Two second halves, was that? <laughs> no, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, obviously, uh, listening, if you want to send in any questions to do with Taunton Town so I can ask the boys, uh, go to Taunton Town social media pages at Taunton Town FC or by emailing media at tauntontown.com. Now, the last question uh, is what drives you? And we've had many different answers from everyone else. Not your car. Can I stress <laughs> this? Uh, yeah, so what drives you to be always the best that you guys can be? Sure, yeah, got a car. You're meant to be okay, here we go. Not sure about that. But what drives you, sure? You come every week. Um, just being such a good lad and just yeah. like being around the lads and stuff just really drives me forward right. nice. anything else from, from Ollie or, or Pricey I think the, I think if you're just wanting to win like mm. whatever I play I want to win so mm-hmm. apart from Tiverton yeah. right now. <laughs> okay. no, anything anything any sport or anything mm. you can win I personally want to win so that's what joins me yeah alright guys thank you very much for being on the show Uh, good luck against Gosport and that is the fifth episode of the Peacocks podcast